Hi, my name is Rachel Johnson, and I'm a lead forensic interview specialist with Zero Abuse Project. I'm here today to tell you about a new publication we're releasing, Interviewing Children with Disabilities, a practical guide for forensic interviewers. We know as forensic interviewers, it is imperative for us to individualize the process for the child and family that we're serving. And this guide will offer some flexibilities, considerations, suggestions, and potential modifications when we're navigating this process with children and families with disabilities. Some of the things that you'll find in the publication are an overview of the risk factors for abuse when it comes to children with disabilities, considerations for our pre-interview process, how we should walk through the different phases of our protocols with children with disabilities, and also considerations for some of the sensory needs, modifications to physical space, use of interview aids, and other tools that could assist children with disabilities when they are involved in our forensic interview process. Again, I'm very, very pleased to announce the release of our Interviewing Children with Disabilities, a practical guide for forensic interviewers, and we hope it proves to be a resource for all within our field. Thank you for what you do. Hello, my name is Kathleen Nolan, and I'm a senior attorney with the Zero Abuse Project. In addition to our guide for forensic interviewers, I'd like to talk about another new publication, Child Victims with Disabilities, a guide for prosecutors. Each year, hundreds of thousands of children are subjected to abuse, neglect, and maltreatment. Of children that experience child abuse, children with disabilities are often affected at a staggering rate. But children with disabilities are often underrepresented in our child protection and judicial systems. Prosecutors that handle these incredibly important cases must be prepared to serve the needs and advocate for individual child victims. And for child victims with disabilities, that involves advocating for their unique physical, cognitive, and emotional needs. This guide will address each of those components in the prosecution of cases involving children with disabilities. This guide will also give prosecutors sample motions, memos, and jury instructions to be able to file effective court pleadings. This guide, in addition to the Forensic Interviewers Guide, will assist prosecutors and interviewers across the country to do the important work they do on behalf of children. Thank you.